What's happening, everyone? Malt reviews time. Time for a uh, malt review. This year's Diageo special releases, right? Yes, sir. It's recently, about that time. recently got um, a few of the bottles uh, in, and we got this Pity Vitti. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this Pity Vec. Is that how you pronounce it, right? Pity Vec. Pity Vec. Yeah. Um, it's a closed or a ghost distillery. And I don't know if I've ever tried anything from them. I'm, I I'm might sure. have I've never tried a, a pity pity. I might have at a tasting at an event, um, mm. but I we don't I don't own it. We don't own anything else from no. them. So this year, you know, it's a third thirty year old Scotch cast strength um, closed distillery. Distillery that I've only operated for 18 years. Only 18 years. Um, yeah. So another ghost distillery. So we thought it was a, an opportunity for not too much money, around like 400 bucks. Yeah. Something around uh, around 400 bucks, maybe a little more, um, to try a 30 year old scotch from a closed distillery. We thought it was fair. Um, it's, this thing has been aged. It says first ever finished in bourbon cask. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's when I read it's first ever finished in first fill bourbon casks. Mm -hmm. So matured over its life, you know, and refilled probably second yeah, and or it's, whatever fill bourbon cask. At uh, natural strength at fifty point eight. Yeah, and the vintage is nineteen eighty nine. There you go, thirty year old. So why not take a chance? Here we go. This thing's been breathing for a good thirty minutes. Yeah. Without further ado, Let's do on it. the nose. The been nosing this thing for a while now and. Right off the bat, I'm just like, I just never really had a nose this grassy. It's really green. It's really wow. weird. Like a lot of grass. It's different. And it's, it's like you're getting green vegetables. When have I ever used that note before? Yeah. It's like it's like kale and like avocado and like spinach, uh, grass, wheat grass. Yeah. Um, ton of that coming out. It's really, really wicked. But like sweet, like crystallized. Crystallized and sweet. Well, you get a lot of citrus fruit, like sweet citrus fruit. Maybe that's, that's like that's like that unique distillery character coming through. Yeah. I've never had anything like this before. Yeah, and I don't have enough experience to know. Yeah. But it's like immediately I, I was telling Mike, I was like, you know, Bora has its certain uniqueness yeah. that you just don't get from anything else. And 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 it's been a while since I've had that like surprising factor. Yeah. And this this has that. Very green. Fresh. Everything's like so it's like yeah. it's like you're just running in like a like a meadow. But and also oily, like sweet, sweet lemon oil, sweet um like grapefruit oil. I've never had grapefruit oil, but it's just oily like that, right? Yeah. Like the oil from the skin. That very oily, yeah. Yeah. Concentration. Yeah. Super unique. Super, super unique. Even a little salty element kind of going around there, right? Yeah. Super unique. Yeah, definitely. I'm only getting like citrus fruits, but I'm getting some crazy, crazy, crazy citrus fruits. I mean, I think, I think that's the main thing that comes off is, is, is the citrus fruits, the oiliness, from the fruits, which is which makes it so luscious the nose. Yeah. We'll see how it is on the palate. Um, and then all the greenery that just came along with this, right? Yeah. Um, and even as I'm saying greenery, I start thinking <laughs> like, like a green apple. Think about it right now, put it down for a second, and yeah. then think apple skin, man. Yeah. Green apples. No, I know. You're totally getting that almost as well. Like, almost like a sour apple. Almost like a sour apple, yes. Like a delicious sour well, apple. Well, the green you apples tend to be a little more candy. sour, yeah. 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 This is awesome, man. Yeah. This is why I love scotch and the variety of all the distilleries and the characters. Well, this is very unique. Wow. It is fresh. So, like, literally fresh cut, like, grass. Like we like just mowed the lawn. Like sugar everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> This is so, yeah, mowed the lawn. Like, all the goodness of that. That's a trip, man. Yeah, this is like, this is like wicked. It's like cabbage and spinach and kale and avocado. Um, I'm also getting some, um, some um, green um, grapes. Yeah, vegetal, as they say. Yes. So vegetal. No, I know. 
vegetoil, vegetoil, <laughs> vegetoil. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say vegetal and oil at the same time. Vegetable, Very oily, oil. No, citrus is. fruits, apple skin. It is because it's so concentrated. It's like resinous. Amazing. That's a trip, dude. That's Let's cool. um, hit the hit the palate. Yeah, it's like a new adventure. Sour apple skin, like a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Wow. Like sour yeah. apple for sure. Tart. So tart, man. Yeah. Oh, man. The word sour sounds nasty in whiskey. It's not. It's not in any way. But it's got this very weird, wicked, like, sour apple candy and, like, sour, like, lemon candy. Yeah. It's candy. Yeah, it's candy, but you're definitely getting the grassiness. Um, as weird as this sounds, it was more oily on the nose than it's in the palate. Yeah. The nose was so oily. It was like oils dripping, right? Everywhere. Yeah. Kind of like when you're making a cocktail and you grab the orange, the, the orange oil and the lemon oil right. and you squeeze it and then you smell all the fragrant yeah, like oils. Yeah, like expressive. Correct. Do you think like crystallized wheatgrass. Yeah. Like after workout sesh or the gym or like spa, wheatgrass, but like super crystallized. Really unique. A couple, uh, couple drops of water brings out the fruitiness a little bit more. Yeah. Definitely apple, little pear, that lemon still. Yeah. Mm. Very unique. I'm gonna hit the palate with some water. Very unique. Mm. Mm. Every sip, like twice as sour. It's like the as a kid, the sour gushers candy. Mm. Like that sour, dude, like that, you crave that sour, like Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, very unique. Wow. This is insanely unique. I think the most, wow. the most we love so much about scotch is there could be such a surprise in each bottle, something you've just never tasted. Like green vegetables, I've never had that. Mm -hmm. um, combine that with all the other stuff that we've been talking about. It's just very unique and it could sound, vegetables can almost sound like nasty and rotten kind of, but it's mm -hmm. not in any way. There's no sulfur. There's nothing like that. <laughs> There's no oakiness to this either after 30 years. Um, there is a little bit of spice on the palate, mm -hmm. um, but it just kind of adds to the complexity and the finish lingers and lingers along with that spice, along with that apple skin with the citrus flavors and the green vegetables kind of continue along as well. Um, full flavored, um, really, really well, really well done. I'd say the water kind of does help it a tiny bit, not much, but it definitely brings out the fruitiness um, to it um, for sure on the palate. Yeah, and the, wa the water made it more sour and then brought a little wood spice. But yeah, like, like Norby said, what's so amazing about scotch, you go from like the peatiest thing to like the, you know, maybe too sweet, almost cloying, like sherry thing, and then everywhere in the middle. And then like this thing, it like literally stretches your nose and palate, your olfactory system, your senses, like it stretches them to the limit. It challenges them and other spirits just cannot do that. Like every possible aroma or flavor the human can detect, Scotch has it. And this is like craziest surprise. Yeah, this like is total, awesome. Total new adventure. This is awesome. For me, this is a solid 90 on the nose, around 89 on the palate, but the surprising factor and the uniqueness of it kind of bumps it up a point, so it, it, it makes it a whole of a 90, a solid 90, very unique experience for me. You're kind of like that, that wow surprise factor. Yeah, I mean, look, 90 and 89, I usually tend to go down towards the lower side. Right. But, you know, kind of to be safe. And I could see this potentially exploding as, as more air. I mean, this has been open, open for a week 
Um, I could see this when it's been open for six months since it's yeah. cast strength, yeah. bumping up a point. Absolutely. Um, you know, we're, you can, we're just kind of doing the review. We don't do a lot of whiskeys where they just came out, so sometimes it's nice to do a whiskey that just came out. In case you were curious, it's still available at a retail at the, sh at the stores. It's not cheap, but it's a 30-year-old scotch from a closed distillery, so you want to factor that in. Yeah, I think it's, it's rare. I think it's fair value given what it is. Um, Absolutely. I second it, 90. Yeah. 90 out of 100. Yeah, it's just a solid 90, right? That, you know, you think about epic whiskeys that make that 90 point with the uniqueness of this. I think it, it deserves that. Wow. Incredible whiskey. Yeah. Um, mm. Subscribe if you guys haven't. A thumbs up is most appreciated. Um, if you liked the video, if you didn't, thumbs it down. Uh, and if you've tried this, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of it. Yeah, All or right. or the previous year, Diageo released same vintage, mm. eighty nine, the twenty nine year. Yeah, some people like that one better from what I've been reading. So yeah, yeah, just depends. I've, yeah, let us know. Feedback. I haven't tried that one, so I wouldn't know any different. Now I want to try that one. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers.